Gene, it's, it's not the velocity, it's the angle. I mean, maybe they're, they're still venting something and that's throwing off the trajectory, but we are definitely shallowing again. We are up to a 5.9. Damn it. At this rate, they nick the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off into space. We never get them back. We need another burn to get them back in the, in the corner. Need another burn. Another burn. Fire the engines and get them on course. Copy that. Houston Aquarius. Uh, Jim, we've got another course correction for you. What's up? Something about another course correction. Uh, we copy, uh, Houston. Uh, be advised, it's gonna take Fredo and I a while to power up the computer for the, uh, alignment platform. We have to fire the engine. Uh, negative on that, Jim. Can't, uh, spare power for the computer. We gotta do this blind. Uh, Houston, without the computer, what do we use for orientation? Sid, come on, we gotta be able to give these guys something up there. Without the power, we can't give them a reading. No, we're not talking about power, we're talking about reference. No, no, there's no references. We have Houston. a bunch of debris up there. Houston, what's the story with this burn? Uh, we're trying to hash something out down here, Aquarius. Stand by. Well, now look, Houston, all we need to hold attitude is one fixed point in space. Is that not correct? Yeah, roger that, Jim. Well, Houston, we've got one. If we can keep the Earth in the window, flying manually, the COAS crosshair is right on its terminator. All I have to know is how long do we need to burn the engine? The shorter, the better. Roger that, Jim. Can they fly it manually and still shut it down on time without the computer? I guess that's the best we can do, Glenn. We're out of time. In order to enter the atmosphere safely, the crew must aim for a corridor just two and a half degrees wide. If they're too steep, they'll incinerate in the steadily thickening air. If they're too shallow, they'll ricochet off the atmosphere like a rock skipping off a pond. The reentry corridor is, in fact, so narrow that if this basketball were the Earth and this softball were the moon and the two were placed 14 feet apart, the crew would have to hit a target no thicker than this piece of paper. Okay, people, on your toes. We're doing this one blind. Gene, I want you to understand we've never tried this before. Burn, cold soak, burn, cold soak, burn, manual control. Look, it will ignite, will it not? I just want you to know the engine's never been tried like this. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Look, I know what you're trying to do. I guarantee you I won't hold you personally responsible. If it lights, it lights. I'll level to the rest. Okay. They're gonna burn the engines and steer it manually. gonna take all three of us. Fredo, you handle the pitch, but on the translation controller. It's all backwards, so if the, <coughs> if the earth starts drifting down, you need to thrust aft, not forward. I'll do the same on mine with everything else. We're gonna burn a 10% thrust for 39 seconds. Jack, you time us? Got it. Give us a count of the last 10 seconds up to 39, and let's not miss this. You up to this, Fredo? I'm with you. Standing by for corridor control burn. OK, Jim, you can fire when ready. You are go for the manual burn. Six plus button at 10 seconds. Mark. Come on, baby. One Nine, more burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, let's just go. Two, one. Ignition. <laughs> She's burning. Oh, yeah. Pass her arm off. Okay, here we go. Get the gray lighters on. Our kids just go 10% run. Right around, Fredo. It's trying, but it's dragging. 10 seconds. All right, drop it down, Fredo. We're drifting. No, you hold what you got. I'll roll it. Back off. God, I can't get it stable. Shit, she's dancing all over the place. Come to the right a little bit. 15 seconds. She's drifting. I'm losing attitude. 
Houston, we have shut down. That's close enough, Jim. Good work. Knew it! Knew it! How about that limb, huh? How about it? Mm. Guess you can keep your job. You betcha. 13, stand by. We're evaluating our power usage on that burn. Well, let's hope we don't have to do that again. Gentlemen, we've given our guys enough to survive till re-entry. Well done. Now we got to get them in. Tell me about the power-up procedures. Here's the order of what I want to do. I want to power up guidance, ECS, communications, warm up the uh, pyros for the parachutes and the command module thrusters. The thrusters are going to put you over budget on amps, Ken. Well, they've been sitting at 200 below for four days, John. they got to be heated. Fine, then trade off the parachutes. Something. <sighs> well, if the chutes don't open, what's the point? Ken, you're telling me what you need. I'm telling you what we have to work with at this point. I'm not making this stuff up. They're going to need all these systems, John. We do not have the power, Ken. We just don't have it. OK, I'm going to go back and reorganize the sequencing again and find more power. Let's start from scratch. Clear the board. <laughs> 